This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be demoing a Genesis, also known as the Mega Drive, hack of the popular game, Streets of Rage 2. The hack that we'll be demoing is called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Re-Revenge, but before the demo, I'd like to show you how you can easily find yourself a great hack, and apply the patch yourself, using the same method as I'll be using in this video. If you are unfamiliar with the ROM hacking site, romhacking.net, then you're missing out. This site is where many hackers deposit newly made ROM hacks for some of our most loved classic games. Today's hack Shredder's Re-Revenge is brought to us by the contributors listed below. I try and verbally say each name, but I feel as if I may butcher them. With that said this site is based around two things. First this site gives us the hacked patch, provided by the contributors, and the information to find the right ROM files to apply those patches to. In the area titled ROM ISO information, you'll find four key items of information. The first is the name of the game based off of the ROM set that it was taken from. In our case we can see that this is a no intro set, and that also happens to be part of our next piece of information. What exact version of out set do we have? As we said this is a no intro set, and we also happen to have a version number. When you use a patch provided by a contributor on this site it's important to make sure you're using the same exact ROM or at the very least match it as close as you can, and that's why the next two bits of information are important. They help us in identifying that we have the right ROM needed. The first is an SHA number and the second is a CRC number. I don't know every detail regarding the CRC or the SHA numbers, but I was told they act as a digital fingerprint, and the values of each change based on the size of the file, what's in the file, and the order that the information is in. Again, I know that they help us identify the right ROMs, but I really only have a basic understanding of each. To check the CRC we'll be using an online checker, it's as simple as dragging the file then dropping it in the box, and there are also standalone programs that will do the same. We should also check the value of the SHA numbers, but the truth is I was unable to get her exact matching set, so for time we'll just skip that part. I also try and keep in mind that I'm going to be doing this with a copy of the ROM, and not with something that's irreplaceable. In other words if you mess this up, it's no big deal. After we've downloaded our patch, from romhacking.net, and we've downloaded our ROM, we'll use a program that we can download from romhacking.net called Lunar IP. Don't worry as the patch and Lunar IP will be linked to in the description, so we can apply our patch to the ROM. What this does is, simply replaces our old code, with new code. Giving this game a new life, kind of like the FBI's witness protection program, but digital, and our ROM is not living. To apply the patch we simply open Lunar IP, and point it to both the ROM, and the patch, and click apply. If we've done everything right, at the very end we'll be told that the patch has been applied successfully, and then we'll be able to test it and verify that the hack is working. Looks as if it's been applied successfully. Now let's demo a little gameplay and make sure it's been done right. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend.